Hey everypony, New Leaf here, and today we're here for the final episode of Fallout Equestria Remains, everypony. Now, let's see what's so bad about our home stable and the enclave. Um, Anthony may target a stable pie. What? How? Why? How did they? I can only guess. My Sprackbots detected decent... Descent of a huge number of soldiers and pegasi vehicles in several areas. One of them is the place where the main entrances to your home is hidden. They seem to know where to go and what to do. They're, they are ready. They are getting ready to break inside. We must not let this happen. We move immediately, all together. I can't go to Stable Pie through the terminal. I must be there now. Then it will show the way. The way to others. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, you remember last time when it wasn't stable pie and it was happy that it was all peaceful? Mm, not anymore. Not anymore. It's not gonna be peaceful anymore. Oh well. At least it's easier things to, to defeat now. Because we have magic and the Enclave uses magical defenses. What's the quest here? Return to Sable Pie and fight Mentor. Oh, you guys are back. I'm happy to see these. These are a lot easier to deal with than the... Um... Than the madness that I'd like to call the Brotherhood of Steel. Those guys are hurt. They have missiles and everything. This... This is nearly not as bad. Look at that, I take 21 damages. That would have been Brotherhood of Steel. I would have already gotten a rocket and been probably dead. Alright then, let's keep going. Uh, why does there have to be one of these these douchebags in here? I hate I hate the dogs. They're they're powerful, but only because we have magic armor. I mean if I had like power armor, these guys wouldn't be a threat. But the way that I've geared myself up, ironically, the weakest enemies are are kind of some of the strongest things to do to us. Em empty terminals? Huh? Well, no negotiations! Right! Wait. I could technically cheese this whole area. We've we've been through it in a previous episode. I could Shadow Potion it. But we are sort of low on time as well, every pony. I don't know if I can't do it in 10 minutes, but... There's only one way to find out, and I'm definitely gonna try. I'm gonna use this. A Stealth Buck is gonna be... Not totally, like, making it impossible for them to hit me, but it is going to give me the edge in trying to attack these. Ooh. Look at that. One of their guys is already almost down. Oh, f come on out, little guy. You're not, you're not totally scary. You're about as harmless as me. See, every pony, I'm totally harmless, for those of you who don't know. You can go this way now. Get rid of you. Got that. Look at that. Even when they're completely attacking me, full blast with weapons, they barely do a thing to me. <sighs> I mean, sure, my, my armor gets is horrible against these <gasps> wizardry. But against the ponies that like do the most damage, I'm ironically have the best answer. Look at that. That was two full blasts and he does 25 damage. Wait, what's with this guy? This guy's stuck. No, seriously, this guy was completely... That guy was never leaving. Let's go this way. Is there anyone else? Okay, it's just a regular turret. Any orders? I have the order of telling you to surrender, my friends. Sturdy door this way. I think we need to reach the bottom right corner specifically. We could stealth this and I think I'm going to. Stay here. Smash him against the walls. Go. Wasn't too horrible. Um, Keep going to the right. Oh, another one. In that case, we're just going to take the short way and just completely demolish them. <sighs> Nothing like a relaxing game of catch. I mean, it's a little more deadly, but 
you know, this is the Wastelands. This is Wasteland-style play catch. Arr! Caught too much gravity there. Let's get out. Ah! Taking a lot of damage, though. Huh, not too much. And I could always use a medics, but I'm not that desperate. Huh? I guess we're just gonna keep going this way, then. There doesn't seem to be a way down. Wait. Oh, this is where the map is. Let's align that so, because otherwise I'm just... Well, Lavy Pony, take a good guess whose game just crashed. I, I swear, it always finds the worst spots to do this, though, doesn't it? And this place apparently does become random generated when you're trying to fight things in here. But first time you find it, that's not the case. It's, it's explory. Anyway, map time. I didn't move much further. Ah! Um, get ready for wizardry potion. We're, we're gonna clear this whole area. I have so many wizardry potions. I think I got ready. Use it. We're just gonna completely death ray this thing. Oh, poor little doggy. And he was just trying to play fetch with me, I bet. He's gonna kill me. Seriously, what is what is it with these dogs anyway? They look weird. So what's this way? Can't leave up being attacked, but, but there's literally nothing attacking me. It's all harmless fun for now. I can just bash you. Huh? What's with this turret? Oh, seriously, what is with this turret? Um, let's do this then. <laughs> you wanna play cheeky with me, game? I think you came to the wrong house. Psych! I'm pretty good at dodging like a little goat. But I think these ponies are gonna learn that magic can't float. Sort of. Lunar Blade is broken. So what other enemies is there? Oh, look at this. There's a, a big white Pegasus. Legendary. <laughs> he wasn't legendary enough for that. But look at that. He barely can do a thing to me. Arr. Arr. Ah, legendary enough for that. <laughs> what? Why was... Why is that guy 12,000? And the Brotherhood and the Ants that we fought earlier that annoyed me? Those guys are nothing. And these guys, 800. Sure. I mean, I won't complain about the free experience, though. And, uh, but, uh, let's just close this in case there's more enemies. I mean, I don't want to run into another invisible zebra. Move. Another one of these. We're, we're getting pretty dang lucky. Go for more magic potions. And just... just... Slowly exhale and whoa! What kind of party did I run into? Um, Wizardry potion. Large magic. I'm gonna need full damage for this section. Because suddenly everyone's like here. Keep your distance, keep your distance. They can't beat me if I'm at a distance. They can only do stuff to me if I, if I get close. Get that. Um, if they both come down here, we're teleporting behind. They're not doing it. Death Ray. Get that. Come down. Come on down to Earth, my friend. You'd be surprised of how shocking Earth is. Are you reloading? I think that's the worst thing you could have done. He reloaded right in front of my face. What a disrespectful pony. Ooh. Teleport up here. Huh? Huh? How do I leave? How do I get to the bottom? Or did I just miss something? Or is it like some spot? Some magical spot that I'm supposed to go? Pegasus Super- Oh yeah? Let me show you about the superior race, my friend. They shoot magical blasts and they kill you on sight. 
No, literally, I could kill someone just by looking at them. And I guess a little bit of spell casting, but you know, that's not too, too advanced and too dangerous to do. Um, seriously, where am I supposed to go? Huh? Wait, I see something. There's a way over here where we can actually go up. I guess that's what. Ooh. Oh, apparently we were supposed to go to the right. Little Pip, thanks Celestia to you. Wait, I'll turn off the bear and let you in. Heart Rose, quick, t tell me what happened here. They attacked us. Pegasi in strange armor. We all were minding our own business, everything as usual. Suddenly we heard a, a rumble and the ground shuddered. The general alert sounded and stopped. We think they blew up the outer wall and then somehow got access to the stable door mechanism in our security system. I don't understand how this is possible and five minutes later a real nightmare began. They burst inside, killing every pony in their path. That's because we did it to them first, for those of you wondering. Fortunately, after the first explosion, Mentor understood that this was an attack from outside and managed to warn every pony on speakerphone. We hope that most of the stable residents took ref refuge in workshops and labs. You know, they have their own autonomous defense system, force fields or armored doors. However, what's the point? There are no supplies, no food, no weapons. No matter how long we sit there, sooner or later they'll get us. Discord, spawn. You were attacked by the Enclave and this enemy is just freaking strong. Where's Mentor? He, he's wounded, little Pip. Mortally wounded, I'm afraid. We retreated here to Workshop 1 because it was here. We were working on the Sun Project. We stumbled upon a group of enemies. Mentor got a plasma bolt right in his chest. Well, he's not getting away from that so easily. I managed to cast a masked daze spell and while the enemy was coming why can't we have a spell like that and while enemy was coming to their senses dragged him here under the protection of the field however I'm still afraid he isn't going to survive but why didn't use the alicorn armor is it now ready Oh, shucks. A little pip, you came back. Holy Celestia. To think of how stupid it all turned out. All the decades of work. All the secrecy in vain. All their knowledge. All the technologies will be taken by murderers from behind the clouds. And all of us will die. Oh, shucks. Jeez, this is getting touchy, every pony. I will not allow it. Not everything is lost yet. My friends from the surface will help us. Together we will repel this attack. And what about the Alicorn armor? We do not have time to complete it. Did not have time to configure tests, but still, how can it get worse? You're right. Use it. Kill this scum. You have more combat experience than any stable resident. Thanks for trusting me. Trust? Pure pragmatism. Who would have more chances than you? Pain so much. Forgive me. Time to get the armor. Alright, every pony. So, I know this is gonna sound rude, but in fact, this is where I... Most likely will want to save the game if the game is giving me a chance and next time around We are gonna complete this because we are just over 40 minutes and I don't want to go for like an hour-long episode I don't know what's on the other other side of that door, but I mean All right, let's just go in here every pony and end the episode the game actually does send you back if you try to load the game Or reload. All right. Is there a safe spot or something? What, little Pip? You're here, but how did you... There's no time for chit-chat. Enemies are ha hammering at our door. You don't seem to understand... And where's your mentor? Mentor is dead. They killed him. And now you all are going to listen to me if you want to survive. He died. What do we do now? But we haven't even tested it. So I'll test it in battle. Come on, no time to argue. Okay, little Pip. Protocol. The neural interface of Alicorn armor should merge with your nervous system. Okay. What happens now? Oh, look at me! I'm an alicorn inside of my own armor! Compatibility with the user's brain is above average. Well, I'm an alicorn. What did you expect was gonna happen? All systems support normal. Working capacity 19% of estimated, but continues to increase. How are you feeling? Very strange. I don't feel myself wearing any armor. As it's if it's part of me, I feel power. This is normal. Your brain is feeling euphoric. Remember, alicorn armor doesn't make you invulnerable. We need to revise input, but this time, 
This will take hours. There is no time I will manage with what I've got. Here's data from the security sensors. The enemy is concentrating forces at the main entrance. They're pre preparing a new assault group. Use the evacuation tunnel on the left. It will lead you almost to the entrance. Don't let your guard down and don't get shot too much. Okay. Let's see what it says. Alicorn Amulet is an impressive merge of magic and technology. It comes with several special weapons that don't require ammunition. Ability to fly and accelerate in flight, improved health and defense characteristics, magical enhancement of all types of weapon and combat magic, all weapons are protected from damage and wear, built-in combat spell, teleportation and shield spells, huh? Immunity to injuries, regeneration of health and magical powers, impossible. You, you can't use chemistry or magic potions. Oh boy. Wait, so if... Wait... So what happens if I use a magic potion? Huh? Huh? Okay, let's see. Do I have like a different spell as well? Let's see. Is, is there another spell? Oh, what, what's this? The singularity? What? <laughs> what? Aurora Polaris! <gasps> new offensive spell. Is it a new offensive spell? Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! Oh, this is awesome! Now, how do I fly? Oh, I can just, I can just do this. Oh, this is awesome. Alright then. Stable pie entrance. And we leave. Is there a way to like just go back so I can save what I just did? I guess we can go a little bit longer, every pony. I'm pretty sure you're dying to figure out how this armor works as well, so... I won't withhold it from you. Look at that, but this is what art alicorns wear, every pony. My armor doesn't have the red eyes, but it has... Um... It has a special kind of material, every pony. I don't even know if that's, you know, in the human world, but... Let's just say it's very durable and magically enhanced. It's known as Florentium, every pony. Ah, I need to get up here! Yee! Oh my, the controls... Okay, let's see if we can get this done. Flying controls usually have been the bane of my existence in this, but let's see what we can do. Look at that! It's a snowball! <laughs> oh, what? Oh, look at me go! New leaf in his armor. Ah! Alright, finally an armor that's worthy of me, every pony. Look at my health. I have four... Wait, I have 4,400 health. So, you Pegasi, I also have armor now. Can I finally, um, you know, be your proper overlord as of right now? Let's see. Come in. Hello there. I'm breaking up. Oh, they weren't even fighting me. Look at how fast I am. <laughs> I'm fast as can be. Hey, boys. Well, but I have to say, this flying mechanic compared to what the flying potion is, is a lot easier to control. I have to commend the game developers for making this a little easier to, to work with. Okay, I'm just not even going to use the elevator, because screw that. I can just leave. But what a, what's at the end of it? I'm just gonna fly. I don't know what's at the end of this, but make sure you say hi to the ponies. I will see them big and small. We'll be seeing them at New Leafs Magical Gala. Is there something in here? This looks breakable. But I don't know if it is. But look, look at this. This powerful spell. It is like something I would use. What is it even called? Seriously, what is that called? The Singularity. We're just gonna... Uh, no. Our Aurora Polaris is replacing Heavenly Lights. Look at... Look at the damage! Do I have... Do I have other shield spells, maybe? I don't, but it's fine. Any orders? Yes, I have the order to... Dispel you. I'm not invincible. I understand that, but... I'm the element of carefulness, every pony. New leave breaks out. But first, what's up here? Oh, just another pony. And we leave, every pony. Come on, there's got to be a checkpoint soon, but I, I'm happy we at least got to see the armor. Imagine if I would have stopped the episode just before getting this armor. You'd have lost it, and I would have lost it. Oh, look at that. It's still hooves, and they're helping us, every pony. Oh, my. Look at me go. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm fan pony. Way too much over this armor. This looks so awesome. Can I use companions? Oh, if I press C, I immediately get a shield. Yeah, this is a this is a complete separate shield. I guess this isn't a horrible one. 
What's in here anyway? It's nothing. All right, let's go, every pony. Oh, look at this! It's a little doggy, a little puppy. Oh, hey, got it. You can't leave while being attacked. But who's supposed to attack this, huh? Oh no! Enclave Scout, what's this? Ascari, you're here too. We lent you a helping hoof at Fort Rock. We will help you here as well. Time for hiding is over. All these bodies, is your doing? They never knew what hit them. Don't worry, little people will take care of these flying rats. And look at this. Alright. What now? What's back here? Is there a checkpoint or is there going to be a fight? Water? Well, I guess they're flying then. Pegasi are a superior race. Not even in your dreams, my friend. Especially not compared to the new life race. Arr! Calamity. Oh, look at... Look at Calamity! Alright, Every Pony. before we can proceed though, Every Pony, I looked up something because I couldn't find out teleportation that's actually F Every Pony. That's something to keep in mind. Anyway, Calamity, what do you have? Does this remind you of something? Uh, our first meeting? Oh, that's right. Except he was the one who saved me. Enclave troops, yeah, he's telling me. The Thunderhead? Huh? A flying fortress? Um, I'm a flying fortress too! Oh, no, literally. I'm a flying fortress with the damage that I do. The armor won't let me die, Calamity. Now it could even destroy an entire city. Okay. What are we exactly doing? Um... No, we're literally fi fi fighting an entire fortress of... of guns. Alright. Okay, that's goody. Um, you have to do a lot of frequent teleportation, every pony. We're gonna have to keep that in mind. Ah! Taking a lot of damage, every pony. Thank goodness I have this lovely um, armor. Just gotta make sure to focus on something. Eh! Stop letting me take so much damage! Oh, I need to make sure to, when I'm tele that I'm teleporting not into the ship, every pony. All right, this again. So I'm assuming the big green balls are bad for me, right? I think I get that much. Well, ah, taking damage, game. That is rude. But I'm assuming the more I start damaging these little wait, little turrets on the ship, the easier it's gonna be for me to like dodge and avoid taking too much unnecessary damage. That's kind of kind of makes sense. Oh my! I just took 300 damage from getting shocked by that. That's something to be afraid of, game. All right, 1,200. Come on, we need to keep doing damage here. We need to keep doing damage. Let's focus on dodging a little bit for now. I need to make sure to not fall down in, in health. But what happens if I reach zero health? That is something we didn't... Oh, really? That is the cheapest tactic, of course, of flying into me. We got another turret. Okay, what is blue? Blue just... Blue just basically is a spray gun. Not too hard to dodge, though. Oh, th they just shot themselves, didn't they? Alright, let's get our health back. Let's get our health back. So, what do we focus after, like, the, the, the explosion cuts? Let's just focus the ones that are already about to be toast. Come on, leave! I think we got that. Oh. Leave, focus. There's still a bunch of explosive guns on this, this side specifically. I do have a couple of health potions and wall. Look at my look at my health! I just got I just got shredded by these and this is an explosive turret, every pony. Oh no you don't. No, you do not. I mean what if we just stop attacking the ship for a little bit? I'm, I think I understand this much that the more attack the ship, the more turrets come out. So we could give ourselves a little bit of a break if I stop doing that. 
which we cheese and a little bit cheap to do but maybe it's the only way that it happened wait what magic is out but don't magic potions not work they do work okay. but that also means I can do a little bit of this right let's use a, do a little bit of this. let's get some Oh no, it's not Q, dude. Leaf, it's not Q, it's F. Okay. Come on, another turd is about to be toast. That's another turd down. Oh, they're sending two of these now? Game, okay, knock it off! Knock it off with the explosions! Ugh. Good thing my reflexes aren't horrible. All of the times that we've played um, Castlevania Order of Equestria have prepared me for something like this. <laughs> Go over this way. Let's just focus on the two turrets that are following me, specifically the explosive turret. Get rid of that. Oh, I, I, I ran right into that. Okay, there's only a single turret up here that can actually hurt me, so when we're up here... This is actually a pretty good moment for me to just relax and get our health back. I don't care if this is a longer episode. I mean, if I'd be withholding this from you, how do you think I'd feel? I'd feel horrible, every pony. It's like it's like a birthday present, but well, you can't open the birthday present yet because surprises, right? Oh, come on, get, get, get those turrets. That's another turret down. That's another down. Oh, please. I can teleport like it's nothing now. Seriously, if this is what they were hiding in the stable, imagine if they would have just given some me something like this back when I was, um, you know, leaving the stable <laughs> back in episode one. <laughs> then I would have become the worst thing in the wastelands. No kidding. <laughs> All right, you guys. I think it's time for you to do... Wait. Whew. But I have to say the battle is tough. Like, you have to be really quick your th with your teleports. The game does, you know, give you a little bit of leeway by having a lot of magic. But you still have to do a lot of work yourself. And you can't just, like, take every hit. This reminds me of a boss battle that I did once, actually. Um, that was... What was that game called again? Clockwork of the Stallions. No, something with clockworks and stallions and robots, everybody. I think you know what I mean. That also had a boss battle like this. You essentially became an alicorn in the last scene, but the bo boss also brought, like, a giant robot and you had to beat him, and... It was basically the same thing. You you were a lot stronger, but still, you couldn't mindlessly start attacking things, and I think that's the way I'm gonna handle this. And we are re regenerating health now, because there's basically two sections where nothing can get me, or barely anything can get me. Get rid of you. Get rid of all these annoying turrets. This is fine. This is actually kind of well. I guess in the one life challenge, though, we are going to have to remember potions work. I mean, um, magic potions work. And to focus specific turrets and, of course, dodge like no tomorrow. Use your cat-like reflexes. We talked about it at the beginning. If you're a cat, this is, this is your game right here. This is your game. So... Basically hitting those turrets damages it damages the ship, right? Or does just shooting the ship do damage? Well it does! It does do damage. So we're just gonna shoot these? Oh really, game? You're gonna use Um clouds to block your ship? Oh come on, game. That's like the worst thing you could have done. Oh. Bye! Oh. What just happened? <laughs> I just I just managed to zoom out on accident there, didn't intend on that. Let's just get, get rid of these turns. Ha! And now we can just willy-nilly shoot at this thing. I'm getting these turrets. Whoa. I'm a cat you. I wonder how this would be if we could like shoot the shoot the projectiles, especially the explosives. Got you. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I can just keep shooting at it. Actually getting dragged in here. I realize. So, sometimes the ship's pulling me in. I didn't even realize that from all the teleporting I did, but... There's blue stuff coming off of my character sometimes, as it seems and like it does now. And when I'm doing nothing, the ship actually actually pulls me in. I guess they're trying to, like, 
make me fly into those clouds, because I'm pretty sure that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, my, I ate that. I ate that. I ate that right up for breakfast. Oh, get off. Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't want to be touched. I think we're about to win, aren't we? But I thought that that we had all the boss battles. I guess this is one of the battles that you don't get to retry in the training area. All right, the little guy. Wait, I'm out of magic again. Ha! Because New Leaf is a magic pony, and I don't actually run out of magic. Let's just keep firing away at you. Huh, what? The shield's off. Let's get inside. Okay. I just fly into the clouds. All right, then. Who's in here with me? Friends? Oh, look at these. Oh, this isn't this isn't nearly as bad. But this is only 24%. This is what they told us at the beginning. This is 24%. What am I going to do at 100%, huh? Um, I don't think you ponies want to know. Do you want to know what happens at 100%? <laughs> I'm just I'm just beating them where I go. Sorry, stormtroopers. Make Rick Knesset's enemies near. Yes. The Alicorn of the Wastelands has invaded you, and you better bow to me. Well, technically bowing isn't something I really like, but... I suppose desperate times call for desperate measures. What's this? Huh? Thunderhead Reactor, I'm supposed to destroy you. DESTROY! Oh, look at that. He barely has any health. And let's move. Okay, bye. I gotta go. I gotta go shopping for, um... Shopping for some lost souls. Well, technically... Oh, look at my tail! Look at my tail! Look at how detailed that is! Well, that means the Alicorn of Harmony has struck, and we can just fly. What's that? What? No, really, why am I falling? What's just flying away? Is the game gonna be like, oh, your armor is damaged, but then you miraculously get, ca get caught by someone? Work, freaking wings, what do I do? Telekinesis, slow down the fall. I can't. No strength left. You have potions! Use a potion of sh uh, shadows, that has been able to solve every problem. I was about to say, Calamity's gonna save me. That would have been... That would have been weird if the game just would have let me go. Yep, that was a mighty huge blast. Yeehaw! Don't ever do dust again, just bring me to the ground. Okay, whatever you say. Come on, why has my character gotta be moody? I mean, sure, you're beat up, but you just... Did that. I mean, you gotta have a smile on your face regardless. I mean, you don't see giant chips falling out of the skies every day just because you got a laser pointer on top of your head, right? Dunno, but look, the enclaves no longer fly down. What are they doing? I don't understand, but it seems they're gonna turn back. I would've done the same if our thunder had got blown up. Then let's hurry to our friends. I'm sorry, but I reckon you aren't a good fighter at the moment. Besides, you've done your job. They can't finish the battle. What happens now? A couple of days later. Oh, is this the end? So, every pony, when the One Life Challenge comes, think of all the episodes we've been through. We're gonna have to do some of this again. Or all of it. Oh, that's right. The mentor died. It seems everyone is here. How many ponies died? Ponies, zebras, earth ponies, unicorns, pegasi, especially pegasi. <laughs> um, I think I may have something to do with that. And this is not the end, but at least we'll have a break. Losing their flagship and most of the accompanying strike groups stunned the enemy to such extent that according to our reports they suspended military operations in other regions. Yep, we haven't had such losses, they. They haven't had such losses since forever. They're gonna have a mighty commotion up there in the clouds. We were under the mentor of Little Pippin Velvet. A mentor, a colleague for some. Oh, that's right, the sta the guy who was ke um, keeping hold of the stable. Shucks. Oh, this has gotten me emotional, every pony. Oh, but seriously, this is this game has come such a long way. We've been playing this for like three years on previous updates, and it's got a really huge story implemented to it, epic battles and everything. I'm very happy to do this. Here lies Silvermane, a pony who wanted to bring the past. May Celestia embrace his soul. He was not alone in his aspirations, ponies, and he wished for the same thing. Well, technically, he was the one who helped with the, the suit that we wore, but... Wait, where's the suit? I want that repaired. I want to go out and just... <laughs> Terrorize every raider. Oh my. I would be horrible with something like this. <laughs> but it only due to raiders. The past, they perished with him. No, we stand on the foundation of the past. It defines us. I wonder, could things have been different if the mentor hadn't sent us to the surface? If I hadn't found the artifacts? 
Who knows, I'd say that it could have been different, but not much different. All that would happen sooner or later. Perhaps Stable Pie can stay sealed forever. Sooner or later this was to happen, one way or another. But there's something that could never happen then. We could never meet ponies ready to face the horrors of the wastelands. That's right, because we technically unified everybody. This world has long been bogged down in, dis in disrepair and misery, but while there are those who believe in a better world, hope remains. Hey, hope remains! A quest, if all the quest for remains, here we are. War never changes, but ponies, ponies can't. Eclipse armor. The last battle's complete. You sure did a great job, even though I don't remember it. I think Mander had other plans than to use this exoskeleton. But it helped us a lot. I mean, does it work? I don't think it will ever function as good, but at least it can still fly. Okay, but they're telling us to, you know, chill a little bit, but I'd love to at least have some of my talismans back. I need my damage. Okay, what happens now? Do we win? Um, can you go both ways? You can go both ways, but what is in this direction? Do I just have to talk to everyone? Nope, huh? Oh, this is the end! We win! Dude, look at that! The co combined forces of the Prancing Pony, Steel Hoofers, and Hoofs, Hoof Rangers, and Covered Signs were able to defend Stable Pie. The little bit may have contributed, contributed the most to the destruction of the Pegasi area. <laughs> yeah, we... We literally blew them out of the skies. Um, Enclave recognized new, uh, recognized new enemies and launched military operations against them. Without a unifying core capable of maintaining a nation confidence in each other, the inhabitants of United Settlements preferred to concentrate their forces of defending themselves, and this worked in the enemy's favor. After such a terrible defeat from the surface savages, the Enclave lost truth and authority in the eyes of the civilian population and needed good news. The good news came from a series of victories over the Steelhoofs Rangers, who were forced to defend themselves, both from Pegasi and the remnants of the Cold Side's forces at the same time, lacking support from outside. Steelhoofs dispersed his forces to retain territory. Oh, and the destruction of the- okay. I guess you opponents can read this along if you wish, but I'm just gonna quickly breeze through it and see what else it says. The war continued, okay. Calvert's son was never found. Prancing Pony, yeah, that's right, we helped those guys and gave them guns and everything. Stills was forced to to order the give up of most territory control. Oh. So Stillhouse was actually under threat and the like other uh, steel ponies actually got stronger in this. Um, the collapse of such bright and short-lived union, that's right, so apparently the enemies basically won is what this is telling us. This concludes the story of a pony named Little Pip, but not your game. Continue to travel through the wastelands, fight enemies, complete missions, and so on. And there will be no final credits, what are they even for who reads these ton of texts? The ponies watching the videos! So you won't worry. I'd love to watch them because they did an amazing job and we're back. Oh, come on. They deserve credit. Wait, oh, you have something for me. I thought we were friends. In the calamity returned, he told us about your new costume and its magic. He had the Alicorn amulet. I would give you give anything to have a look at it. So it was required for something important. At least you could have brought it. Do you still have it? No, it burnt out in battle and no longer exists. So sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should have been more polite. But Holy Celestia, it's a real legend. I wonder what would have happened if we would have given to her. She would probably would have put it on and become the next boss. Um, but what about her spells? Is all that gone? And I don't have any armor. Oh, fine. All right, every pony. But with that, we are officially at the end of this game. At the end of Fallout, Equestria remains. So I hope you ponies really enjoyed this massive ride of roller coasters, shooting ships, ar armor for alicorns and whatnot. And I mean, I. I think you can you can clearly hear how much I've been enjoying this. This was awesome. Alright, this was played awesome. 
and every pony. This means I'm gonna have to do a little bit of practicing, but in due time, the One Life Challenge will be around, and we're gonna be doing this on a harder difficulty. <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm putting that into one sentence. But every pony, I suppose. With that, I thank all you lovely ponies so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. And remember, every pony, if there's an alicorn, make sure to give him proper armor, and then he'll be able to blow everything out of the skies. Every pony. <laughs> Also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified whenever there's a new video and there's new stuff here every single day and you don't want to miss it. Including a pony that likes to save the wastelands. <laughs>